Pay attention, motherfuckers. This is Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch, and you are watching Badass TV. What is Five Finger Death Punch all about? Chaos. Anarchy. Everything that envelops fucking heavy metal, man. I grew up listening to bands like Pantera and Slayer, Biohazard, you know, shit like that. Complete fucking piracy. There's the music and there's the show. Tell us about the show. The show for me is getting out there and connecting with the people who make this possible for us, which is the fans. And uh, we're lucky to have one of the most loyal fan bases on earth. So we're going to dedicate this one to all the men and women who weren't fortunate enough to make it home. I consider myself to be a fan of music, first and foremost. Growing up, I always got into bands that really took the time to go out of their way and make me a part of what they were doing. Tell us about the double album and what can the fans expect? Man, it encompasses everything we've done to this point. Everything from Way of the Fist all the way up to Capitalist, man. I'm so proud of it, dude. 24 tracks of pure fucking metal. Yeah, I, I can't wait for it. We got Rob Halford on it. We got Max Cavalera, yeah. <coughs> Jamie Josta. <coughs> we even got Tech 9 so what a what a what a what a what, what, what yeah i'm stoked on it man it's gonna be good and that's just the first album the second album we won't even tell you what's on it tell me something about you that nobody fucking knows <laughs> i heard about you wearing an ankle bracelet over the border the ankle bracelet it's true i was uh, on probation for marijuana charge the only way they let me cross borders was to wear a fucking ankle on it so that's over and done with. because we need to put people in jail for smoking for weed marijuana. because they are a danger to everybody in society. You know what's funny is, it, it happened in Colorado, which it's now legal there. So we finally legalized marijuana! I can tell because you always get the best green. Fucking hysterical, you can't beat it. So hard to see your side. Talk about, a little bit about inspiration, motivation, and achievement. You know, what does it take to rise to the top of your scene in 2013. You know as well as anybody else, it's work ethic, staying true to the course, never let anybody tell you otherwise. There were quite a few labels who turned us down in the very beginning, and nobody wanted to even put their hands on us. Once we got into the situation we were in, we made a decision as a unit that we were never gonna turn them back. We never expected it to accelerate to this point. I never thought it'd be this big. I wanna encourage the young metal kids yeah. to write some metal that's gonna get you and me pumped up yeah. five years from now. How long did it take to you guys to get like really noticed? Uh, almost two years. And that's just when I joined the band. You know, Zoe and Jeremy were together for almost three years before that. It goes to show, man. You just gotta stay true to the course. A company always on the run. If you could have two minutes with the young metal fans upcoming and you wanted to kind of give them a little advice from Uncle Ivan. Yeah, talk to him. Think for yourself. Don't let anybody tell you how to direct your life. Do exactly what you want, within the means, and uh, keep, yeah, just keep yourself real, man. Don't ever change for anybody. Uncompromising. Words of wisdom from my brother Ivan Moody, Five Finger Death Punch. You're watching Badass TV. Keep it metal. Doesn't get much better than that. And that's why they call me Bad